So what if I told you a thin wire that goes to the nerves that go to the bladder can forever change the way that you urinate for the better, make you pee less often. Let's talk about interstim. Hey guys, Dr. Segel here. So the question is, a bladder pacemaker? Give me a break. What is that? What is interstim? So let's talk about this. This is um, one of the relatively newer technologies in urologic surgery. And it's neat for us because we're operating in a different anatomic space than we typically operate in. Um, and at the end, stay tuned because I'm going to talk to you about the one concept that I think is so important that's going to help you make the decision as to whether you sign up or don't sign up for interstim. So let's first talk about it. So we have to go through a, a, a brief anatomic kind of description of the way that this works. So this is your bladder here, okay? Now, let's say there's a bunch of nerves and we're gonna draw some of this stuff through other structures like the uterus, but this is just a general schematic. Let's say there's a group of nerves there near the bladder. These nerves are communicating continually with the brain and the bladder. And these nerves are going to be responsible for telling the bladder to squeeze or pee or hold on to urine. What oftentimes happens as you get older or if you have an overactive bladder induced or caused by an enlarged prostate is these nerves will sort of tell your bladder to squeeze too much. And some people have tried medications, they'll try physical therapy, uh, they'll try other uh, treatments like Botox for the bladder and it still squeezes too much and the classic thing that people say is that doc I gotta run to the bathroom if I don't make it there I'm gonna leak and none of the stuff that you've tried so far has helped me which is frustrating for us and for them for sure but the nice thing is we have uh, what I'm about to talk about as an option so these nerves now if we can somehow stimulate these nerves okay with a, a little wire here and change that communication between the bladder and the brain, sometimes we can get these nerves to fire less um, and make it so that the bladder squeezes less in kind of a schematic way of talking about it. And that's essentially what the concept of interstim is. I've been doing this technique in practice for 10 years and in training, you know, at least probably about five years before that. One of the coolest things about it uh, is that it has evolved so much in how we're able to do the initial test and um, do the subsequent implant. Back when I started doing this, we would have to take patients just to do the test, just to see if this would work for them. We take them to the operating room, we do an x-ray study, uh, we put what's called a stage one interstim in, and we still do that sometimes, but it was about a 30 uh, 45 minute procedure sometimes to uh, put a temporary battery in and give the patient a test period for uh, 10 to 14 days, sometimes seven days to see if it was working for them. Invariably, we'd have to take it back to the operating room and take the whole thing out or proceed with the implant uh, at a subsequent time period. Now what we do is we just put essentially just this very thin wire and I'm talking about like fingernail thin and we oftentimes will just do it with an office procedure. So in the course of you know, my busy clinic, uh, we'll have what's called a peripheral nerve evaluation time slot, which is this. So the patient is all set up. Uh, we will try to put this wire in the right place just with bony landmarks. What I mean to say is we can see where the curve of the coccyx is and we can measure up and we can figure out where we need to put in this lead with just a little local anesthetic for something that takes seven minutes sometimes to do. So when we were doing a 30 to 45 minute procedure in the operating room a while ago, now we're doing this in the office in seven to 10 minutes, the patient comes in, we numb them up, we do it, 
and they go home. It's so convenient for them, it's convenient for us, and that's a big difference. Uh, and that's that's made it a lot more accessible to people because a lot of people don't want to get sedation. They feel more comfortable getting it done in the office. So it's opened the door for, for them to see if they would be a candidate for this therapy. So we place that thin wire in the office. Now, if we have an issue getting it in the office, then sometimes we will do it with sedation, but typically we do that, take seven to 10 minutes. And then we give them a test period, all right? We see if it works, we see if it doesn't work. They have a voiding diary and we'll talk to them next week and say, hey, did it work out for you? Did it not work out for you? No matter what, we take this wire out and then we make a plan as to whether we do the permanent implant. Now that can take about 30 or 45 minutes and we give you a sedation. Sometimes we can do it as quick as 15 or 20 minutes, uh, but we first test it out to see if it's helpful for you. In our culture in our society, we're always looking for home run techniques, home run surgeries. People are playing the lottery to see if they can um, get a bunch of cash. We always, that's kind of a fixture of, you know, our American society. There's nothing wrong with that. And I think that this truly defines a home run technique. I've had patients that I do this on, doc said, and they say, doc, that didn't do anything for me. That's fine. I've had some patients come back and say, doc, it changed my life. And of all the things that I do, you know, cancer, so I do a ton of cancer surgery, I do a ton of stone surgery. I think that in a lot of ways, this is the most gratifying for me when somebody who's had their life ruled by getting up, having to go to the bathroom all the time, urgency, frequency, leaking, it's difficult for them, it's embarrassing. And then we do a five minute, seven minute procedure in the office and they call me 24 to 48 hours later and say, my life is forever changed, it's remarkable. So this is one of the few therapies that we do in urology where we see that kind of result and we see that kind of happiness with patients. Having said that, there are certain, certainly people say, Doc, that was like a placebo. It didn't do anything for me. But if it works, it works great oftentimes. And so that's one thing that I want to tell you. Another thing that's super important to remember with um, inner stim and with this, what we call sacral neuromodulation, which is this therapy, is that we give you a remote control. It looks like your smartphone. And there are 11 channels on it. And within those channels, there's different programs. So we can find a program that typically will work for you. Certainly we test it out uh, when we do this peripheral nerve evaluation with motor responses. But if there's one program that's working reasonably well for you, there may be a program that was working even better for you. If you get the thing placed and it's not quite working out six months from now, oftentimes we'll change somebody to a different program and it'll work. And so if you take those 11 programs and you look at, I'm mean, sorry, there's 11 different channels and you look at all those different programs, now we're talking about thousands of different possibilities for a setting that works for that individual. So it's pretty unique in that regard. There's not many therapies where we can tweak it uh, once it's already placed, but this is one of them and that's nice. The nice, another nice thing about the InterStim is that we as the providers and the patients very rarely feel stuck when I, when I say that, what I mean is that to help figure, I mean, you're going to get this smartphone, it's going to look like a smartphone, but you won't necessarily know how to work it. But there, the company is fabulous at uh, troubleshooting it, having a, a number where you could call to figure out what's the perfect setting for you. Uh, so I think that's a one, one um, big plus. I'll have a patient that might have one that's not working perfectly after about three months. And we tend to have very good relationships with our local representatives. And most urologists do around the country. I mean, they work with these representatives hand in hand. In my experience, the, the, the company has had uh, very good representatives be able to troubleshoot these devices, perfect these devices for patients. Uh, so that's a, another unique thing about this, this therapy. And it's a nice adjunct that we can, uh, we can offer people uh, this continued help with it. And this is my pearl of wisdom. And this is what I try to tell people that are on the fence. So I always use the phrase to people, if if you feel like the way that you're peeing is changing your quality of life, then we should do something about it because all we have is our days, right? So we want all the days that we have on this earth to be as good as we can. This therapy is one that has a test period. Most surgeries that we do, we do them and there's no take back, right? This one does, and this is the pearl of wisdom. 
no matter what, we're taking those wires out after a few days. So if you don't like it, you burn very few bridges. I mean, there are some risks with putting that wire in, but they're relatively small. So it gives us an opportunity to just take it out, see what you think and go from there. So the other thing that we're always looking for in American society is a no commitment type of technique. This is no commitment. We put the wire in, we see if you like it or not. If you like it, great, we go to the stage two. If you, if you don't like it, then we're taking the wire out anyway and we'll talk about some of the other options for it. So it's a no commitment option as well. I hope that gives you some insight into the interest in process, the good and bad things about it, um, helps you figure out whether it may be for you or not. We certainly appreciate you listening. Please check out our playlist. Uh, please check out our channel. Please subscribe. Thank you so much for listening. We truly appreciate it.